Jessica Chalangat has been behind bars ever since she was a teenager. And a decade later, she tells us her story has, she says, is a life of regret. She says sometimes the situations we find ourselves in in life can lead us in the wrong direction and urges you to think twice before you commit that act that could land you in serious trouble. In a sleepy little village in Olenguruoni near Molo in the Rift Valley, a girl and a boy fell in love. And 12 years later, that girl still remembers that boy she once loved so dearly. She's certain that he loved her back with the same intensity. He was her first love, an age mate with whom she eloped at the tender age of 14 and lived with happily even when they did not know where their next meal would come from. Tulikuwa tumependana na huyo kichana na tukaweza kupata mtoto mmoja. Wakati nilipata mtoto wa kwanza alikuwa na mwaka mmoja. Wasasi wangu wakakuta kunichukua wakanirudisha nyumbani kwa sababu hawakuwa wamempenda huyo kichana. Little did the young couple know that their union would soon be no more. Jessica's parents forcibly removed her from the little house where she was living with her lover, with whom she had at the time had a baby girl. Jessica says she was then married off to an older man against her will. Jessica's situation got from bad to worse with the alleged physical and verbal abuse taking a heavy toll on her. She says her parents constantly rejected her whenever she sought refuge under their roof. She had at the time gotten another baby, this time with the man she had been married off to. Kurudi nyumbani wakaniambia tena ati nirudi kwa ule mtu. Sasa nikaweza kukasirika na nika nikaua. Nikaona ni uwe watoto wangu wawili na nichiwe mi mwenyewe ndio niondoke hii shida tu bado nilikuwa mdogo na sina usaidizi yeyote na kuna mali ninategemea vile nili niliua si chui niseme pati mbaya ama pati msuri nikapatikana kama ninaua huyu wa kwanza sijashika huyu wa pili nikakutwa Jessica Chalagat was arrested at 15 years of age and sentenced to life imprisonment. The child who narrowly escaped death lives with her parents. At the time of the arrest, she was pregnant with her third child, who has since been moved to a children's home. To date, the tragic death of her son by her hand haunts her. <laughs> She's remorseful but tries to keep busy, at least to keep the guilt and sorrow she feels from consuming her. When I'm dogo, kuliko wale wafungo wengine wakwapa, umeishi aje na mafikira yako kawaida na kuanga ni nini ukiwa unaona ukwapa ndani bado ni mischana mdogo na umeka apa miaka karibu sasa kumi. Ebu ni eleza na kuwaje. Maisha chela si msuri. Nimeishi tu 
yani ninachikasa kama usichana yangu sasa ni kama imeishia chela chusai mimi siwezi sema mimi ni msichana chusai mimi ni mama na vile masiku sinaendelea na chiona kama sasa chusi chusi kwenye nitatoka ninasema sasa sasa nikia nikikaka miaka singine labda tatu miaka inaenda na sija chifanyia chochote unasikia vibaya she's also learned a couple of lessons ukiwa hapa yani ukubali kufanya chochote bila kuchulisha madam na vile ukiwa nje unafanya chochote kile unataka unaenda mali unataka uhuru ni kitu ya maana sana watu wasichukulie uhuru kama ni kitu ovyo ama kam, ni kama ni kitu ya kawaida si kawaida kwa sababu kama vile tuko hapa sasa hii tunataka uhuru sana She rarely gets visitors she says her parents would like to come but they are poor and old ile kitu nishasikia kabisa ni ngumu ni putotembelewa mtu anasikia uko peke yako ni kama hakuna mtu anakupenda vile unaka utembelewi unaona yani ni kama umetupwa kwa wasasi ningewaambia wasikue wakilasimisha mtoto wake kufanya vile wasasi wanataka hiyo haistahili hata kidogo kwa sababu kama si hivyo hata mimi singeweza kufanya kile nilifanya na kwa wasichana naye labda tuseme wameolewa na wako na wako kama vile mimi nilikuwa mimi ningewaambia mtu yani Kenya si ndogo nilikucha kuria life yani siku kwa niishi tu ole nguruoni na siku kwa niishi tu kwa wasasi wangu kama ningepata kutoka labda nipote kabisa ni kuja kama Nairobi na nisipatikane na watu wetu sasa hii singekuwa mahali niko mm. It is a love story that turned tragic the victim an innocent baby boy who paid the price for his mother's broken heart.